There is absolutely no secret that we are filming this episode on International Women's Day, which is the 8th of March, 2013, Friday. Now, uh, we want to talk about women and the voices of women collectively. What are the stories that they're telling? And my guest for today is a woman whose voice is one that we should be proud of because her stories and the way that she tells them is something that has stayed true to her for the entire path uh, and duration of her career. And she's someone that I well relate to when watching television um, as someone who is very, very strong and very, very passionate about what she do. Uh, and she has inspired many to not only be, well, as successful as her, but also to reach further than what they can. I'm of course talking about Long Ayuan. My name is Said Fadino Omar, and you are watching In Person. Hey guys, okay, so now I'm with the lady herself. Uh, it, to think that when I first had an inkling that I want to work in television, I've been watching the shows that she worked on, like 3R, and here she is today. So it is sort of like goosebump moment right now. La. So wow. ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause awesome. for Long Ayan. How are you? Thank you so much for making time for us. No, thank you. Well, first of all, let's establish that this is a very big day. Uh, of course, we're filming this on International Women's Day and we are celebrating it by this project uh, which is called Ika Mayang. Uh, and uh, I watched the first five short films which unfortunately you guys are not going to be able to watch because uh, the topics are just that much more uh, interesting. But as a whole, this project is magnificent. Mm. It's pretty much everything that you've worked on yes, all your life. Absolutely. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Women in communication and telling the stories. Mm. Well, tell us about it. How do you feel about it? Well, actually, I, I think a lot of it began by accident. It was really by accident. It was coincidentally that we were sitting around and everybody was just complaining mm -hmm. um, about how there are not enough good representation of women on screen, you know. And then I said, okay, now with the complaining, <laughs> we've done that enough, you know. Apa kata kita buat sesuatu about it? Yeah. And everybody just like, what apa? You know, do what? I said, okay, you think of a story, I like it, we shoot it. It's as simple as that. Right, okay. And then it snowballed into this, that's all. Yeah. So when you had that conversation, how many persons were around the table? I think because I you had, had five, uh, 15, 15 yeah, yeah. films. But now. I didn't have all of them. I had okay. Sophia, I had V, um, yeah, and a few more other theatre activists. Uh -huh. And then we were talking about this. And uh, then Sophia said, okay, I have, I have. Jangan cabar. And I said, I cabar, nanti <laughs> cabar. Right, okay. So that's how it started. And then when we talk again the next time, and she said that, oh, I have a story. I, I'm like, oh, this is happening me. This is happening. Ah, this is happening. So immediately, because of my schedule, I roped in Ida Narina as the creative director. Because mm -hmm. I know she's got an eye. She's got very much her, whatever she's doing. I always like what she does. Mm -hmm. um, and I always believe that you cannot champion anything alone. And you shouldn't. Yeah, yeah. Let everybody else do their job. Yeah. Let the person who's good in doing that do that, you know? Mm -hmm. So I got Ida on board and Ida said, oh, wow. Let's do it! And she's got more um, excitement than I do. So she basically then, we talked about which are the women want to work with. Uh -huh. We have a whole list. We call everybody up and who can, cannot. Let's talk about it some more. And then do we confirm them, etc, etc. And voila. So today, um, what, nine months later? Nine months. So nine I was going to ask, how long did the entire process take? Nine months? Nine months. Right, yeah. okay. Let's take a, uh, a quick pause here and go back to that point where you said you know, everybody was complaining about something about women in communication. What was it that they were complaining about? What's um, there that's not right right now? Well, the kind of shows that's on, uh -huh. uh, everybody is so just one-minded that uh, cerita gini je yang um, orang akan tengok. Mm -hmm. Cerita gini je yang orang akan bayar untuk tengok. Cerita gini je yang akan ada rating. You know? But this is not the real essence of storytelling. Mm -hmm. And worse, it is beginilah, beginilah yang tidak akan uh, give women that bigger a space to tell their side of the story. Uh -huh. And not just that, um, on my end, I, I have a huge difficulty trying to understand why we didn't move forward uh -huh. um, very much, not just Malaysia, but the rest of the world as well. Uh -huh. That women's voices are not heard enough on air. Okay, this kind of voice, ah, 
Oh, saya suka it's not voices. Yeah, yeah. You know, but voices are like kenapa saya buat pilihan macam ni? Mm-hmm. Kenapa I want to do this? My aspiracy adalah and why I did this. I know it's stupid, but listen to me. Listen to what I have to say about this. Mm-hmm. Those are not heard. Mm-hmm. Let's hear those stuff. How come it's not heard? How come? I mean, I mean you know, t- cinema is not new. Television, media is not new. Well, so when monopoly happened, okay, tell, when okay, monopoly happened, okay. <laughs> when there is only that many studios, for example, when there is only when people think that my goodness, to make it means you got to cover the ticket sales, mm-hmm. you got to do this, you got to do that, they forget that it is about um, it is about the story. They forget mm-hmm. about the craft. Okay, if I want to do film properly, I need to do like a minimum of twelve films a year. Mm-hmm. That's business, sure. The business side of it. Yes, okay. sure. But this is where the problem begins. The fellow who think that you know I should do twelve films a year or more mm-hmm. also think that they should be the one that's doing the story. So that's where it doesn't happen, lah. Ah, okay. Uh, so satu orang tu punya satu orang punya view tu satu orang je lah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Like today we have fifteen films, mm-hmm. and you'll be talking about it. It'll be in the newspapers, mm-hmm. and you go out there. There will be someone influential mm-hmm. yang sebenarnya tak pernah dengar pun pasal projek ini. Mm-hmm. That's how it is. So what do you do? You start again lah. You repeat lah. Right, you say right, this right. again and again and again. Which is your question? So nobody's saying about it? No. Everybody's saying about it. In fact, there are a lot of stuff being said about it, but just that, you know. Not everybody got it the first time around. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. not everybody will get it the second time or third time around. Okay, fine. Say mm-hmm. it 100 times lah. Okay. Right, okay. And what are you proudest of the most? I mean, not only through the films, but also through the effort that has been put in by all these women. Yeah, I think that is really what I'm really so happy about this uh-huh. project. That there was just so much love and passion that's in it, uh-huh. uh, more than worrying about you know the unnecessary stuff. Yeah, and, and because of this passion and this drive, uh-huh. it just makes me want to go to work and find the funding to do this uh-huh. all the more strong. Like, oh, this is my commitment. I want to do this properly. Uh-huh. Let's go do it. Uh-huh. So, what is the next step for? This set of films, then? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you have some things. No, no, I, I really mind. don't know. Uh, aside from some that we will support to send to festivals because mm-hmm. they are in the right uh, uh, category, etc. Yeah. Um, we will, the, the, the whole truth is, we are taking this film mm-hmm. with us as tools when we visit you know, the community centers or the schools or the college or the universities mm-hmm. to tell women, to tell girls, mm-hmm. hey, let story tell. I will show you an example of storytelling from Sharifah Amani. You know her, kan? Yeah, we know her. Just in case I cannot bring Sharifah Amani, kan? Right, I bring right. her film. Okay. So, all right, we show her film. This is her film. This is what she says at the end of the film. See? Ha, she tu pelakon. Pelakon sebenarnya. And she can tell story. Apa lagi you? Right. Why don't you tell story too? And this is film is one medium. Mm-hmm. But we need stories to be told on all sorts of medium. Apa kata you write or you know record a story? Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know, draw a picture, uh, tell your own story somehow, something. Yeah. So that that's what we're trying to do. Uh, Use this as tools for that movement to happen. Let me rephrase my question. Same question, but what is the ideal next step in the most ideal world for you for these films? Do you want them to go somewhere? Do you want them to be picked up by somebody? I, I think I, it, it's well. Um, ideally, at the beginning, when we first draw up the plan mm-hmm. of what Ikal Mayang can be, we imagine that maybe it can be played on one of the TV stations. Mm-hmm. And uh, true enough, it's it's really good. I enter meetings where um, all the stations are at the same room, mm-hmm. and they all, in one way or another, say that they do want the film on their stations, mm-hmm. which is really good news. Um, but then there is but, yeah, yeah <laughs> there is that difficulty that I can't overcome not just myself, but also convincing my other 15 directors mm-hmm. um, that the station want this material for zero charge. So, which means they don't want to pay mm-hmm. anything for it. Mm-hmm. So, and I said that you, you, you don't want to pay for it. It's yeah, because about they tak ada budget. They don't budget. Okay. okay, tetapi then, but you expect me to give you the short stories for your airtime that you can air for free, but you get to sell it to advertisers mm-hmm. and make money of the stuff we do, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, Yuan, but you know what you're trying to do? You're trying to reach out to the audience. I'm giving you a platform. Okay, <laughs> so in my brain, hmm, betul tu, betul, betul, okay. betul. Hmm. Tapi sekarang kita ada internet kan? Hmm. <laughs> Ouch! Ouch! And and for me, I felt that 
I really thought that it'd be interesting for the stations to minimally, you mm -hmm. know, I understand the deal, it's going to be hard because this is Malaysia, we only have 26 million people. I understand. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, eyeballs and numbers, blah, blah. You know, and every single one of the films that we made has high quality. And so we did two films and less of a budget than maybe one film that, mm -hmm. I don't know, I'll start with you, Jalan in you saw lah, you know, some yeah, strange the, poster the, one. The, okay, the you cannot yeah. say that. Okay. <laughs> don't say the name. So, so yeah, so um, uh, I just thought that maybe they would be more interested beyond that discussion to like maybe minimally say, Yuan, I think I really like this. Can you send us the script to mm -hmm. Bacher? But that didn't even happen. Okay, I know in all communications, both sides have to play you know, a part. Mm -hmm. I've got to force them, really, literal, force interest. Sure, because maybe people don't understand your, your, what you're trying to do, yeah. etc. Et yeah. So you've got to force interest, which I was about to do. And then I thought that what is more important than everybody watching it? What is more important than everybody watching it? It is the right people watching it. Mm -hmm. So, what about this? What about just getting the right people to watch it then? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's so get the right people that? to watch it. So, how did you so do that? today, today, uh, in the morning was press only. So mm -hmm. we chose the five that we think best represent the spirit of uh, this entire this entire campaign. Yeah. And then in the afternoon we open it to the public for people who generally genuinely interested wanting to watch it mm -hmm. to come. Mm -hmm. And then the night. Are where we invite the movers and shakers of the industry, the CEOs of companies, um, uh, people who like Talent Corp, or people who want to uplift the position of women, yeah. stakeholders who are also guardian of women's sphere, mm -hmm. um, as well as people who've been in the industry, you know, storytellers in the industry. Mm -hmm. So we invite all those people to come in the hope that it just, yeah, we, we let's let's do something different mm -hmm. too let's spark that interest again maybe i'm yeah. not saying that they're watching oh i'm inspired no 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 it's not inspiring them mm -hmm. it's just saying that hey can we try other voices as well mm -hmm. that's what we're saying okay yeah so yeah, yeah. you put it on tv maybe they don't get to watch it because you know people don't watch tv mm -hmm. so the numbers from television are people who just switch on tv and go cook or whatever so you yeah. get the ratings whatever but we really want people who matter to it's catch the it. the right people to watch it. Yeah. Because okay. we're not there to explain the film too. Mm -hmm. That's the other thing. We're not yeah. there to tell people that sebenarnya kita bukan nak kata jadi lesbian tu bagus. Mm -hmm. Kita cuma nak perkenal, perkenalkan apa benda yang everybody tak faham ni. Yeah. Ataupun it's okay kalau tak faham sebenarnya because we don't understand anyway. Mm -hmm. We're not saying we already understand the matter. We're just saying that oh sebenarnya People don't get that's what all. you're saying is hey let's talk about it and yes. here's something to get the conversation let's have started. a yeah exactly okay got it uh, we have to go for a short break right now but when we come back uh, we're going to take another huge step backwards and look at how this theme has been so central in your career so stay with us on in person Okay, uh, we're back. Uh, of course, we're with uh, Ngai Wen, uh, and we are talking about everything that's great and empowering about women, especially <laughs> in the media, especially in the work that you do, and especially in the fact that the work that you've done all the time I've known Long Ngai Wen is has got has got something to do with women. So this theme has stayed with you for the whole time. Mm. Actually, I do do some stuff that are not so of women. Of course, of course, yeah. yeah. I did Gang Pascola, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, so. Well, um, yeah, I think I, I, I was just surrounded by people with so much energy and passion. Mm -hmm. and, and in my other life, I do arts, you know, so, well. They don't intertwine? I guess they do. People <laughs> are confused. What are you actually standing for? I, say, I just stand for stuff that I want to see better. Uh -huh. that, that really is it, you know. I, I don't okay, know how so to champion okay, men. On, 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 okay, on that note, tell me, what makes you tick? What are the things that make you go, all right, let's do this? Um, for me, I, I cannot complain. Mm -hmm. I will not complain. I, I don't have that in me. I cannot. I don't have. I cannot one. <laughs> tak boleh. No, no switch. No switch. Yeah, tak faham. <laughs> tak faham type. So I hear it and it suck it. Uh -huh. So... If it's okay, then I will ask, can I do something about it? If I can, then I'll do it. Mm, if okay. I can't, I cannot hear one. So I can sit, blah, blah, blah. I, if I, cannot, I cannot hear. Mm, mm, mm. I cannot hear. <laughs> Understood. So for me, so when Gandhi said that you've got to be the change that you want to see, mm -hmm. that like, whoosh, 
Which, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is exactly what I am standing for, you know. Exactly it. I'm not so smart like him to say something like this, <laughs> profound, you know. But exactly. So, if you can't do something about it, mm -hmm. No, no, don't have this switch. Can no, I? <laughs> that, that sentence was left hanging. If yeah, you because can't you can't. But it, there's but no such thing. Yeah, you can do you something can. about exactly. it. There's always something you can do. <laughs> oh my How God, could that's you not? There. <laughs> How could you not? You know? yeah, so, yeah. so that's really strange. Okay. So the thing is, for me, it's always about asking the right question. Mm -hmm. You know, don't ask things like, uh, uh, oh, kita ada duit nak buat. Mm. So maybe the question is, apa kita How boleh buat untuk dapatkan duit? Yes. You yeah. know, so so ask the right question. So instead of like, ah, dia tak jawab kita punya phone lah, apa nak buat, kan? Mm -hmm. Maybe it should be like, ah, apa yang boleh saya buat supaya dia jawab phone saya? Eh? Mm. You know, so then you do stuff and creatively too. Uh -huh. If we were creative industry, we, we should be the first industry yang Never say no because there is a There's no so no. There's so many other ways to, to do get the same a yes. Thing. Yes, rather and than maybe then you got to creatively no. think that why is it not happening, uh -huh. and how else can you do it? You know, maybe your idea really, really is is, is really bad. Mm -hmm. So how do you fix that? You know, so many ways. So how would you describe your the, the journey that you've had, being this public personality that we have come to know and love? Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> no lah, you don't know me so well lah. You also don't love me so much. <laughs> no, but we love the work that you do. Mm. Uh, and, and you've been around. So you've been around. Therefore, there's always a want to have you around. That's love. Come on, you can't deny No, that. no, no. I, I don't think I'm at that level yet. Mm -hmm. uh, when I am there, I will tell you that. <laughs> I'll say, oh, you know, I've been here for a long time. People love me and they want me. But, but not, at this, not at this point. Um, for me, um, I will continue to do the stuff that I think will make an impact and will add value. So that, that's me. Uh, how can I make this better? That's always, how do I make this better? So, so that's always mm -hmm. been it. Regardless of the medium, be it on TV, and you Stage, were also like Kakisani, yeah. and you've also had corporate positions. Yeah, I also go to schools, I yeah. also do a lot of stuff. Everything. Whatever so it how, takes. So how would you describe what you do? What do you do? So I, if I cannot. I, if somebody asks you, so Yun, what do you do? I cannot. How would you answer that? I know, I know. I struggle with that for a while, and then I just give up. Tak <laughs> I would just, I just do what I love to do, <laughs> you know? I can't, I or can't. Or does it depend on when that person is asking? Or where. Or where, yeah. Or where. So it's really difficult and I, I, I think it's not by design that I don't want to box myself up. No, 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 I don't have a conscious decision to, I don't want to be called just that. No, no, mm. no, no, there's not such a thing. I just do it because I think it's important to do something. Mm. And I never say no to doing stuff. That's the other thing. So when you never say no, you just end up doing all sorts of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and then when Quite you literally all yeah, sorts of stuff when it comes to you. When yeah. it's all sorts of stuff, then I for me it's like if you have to do it, make sure you do it well. So you do it all sorts of stuff. So you just keep going, lah. Okay. Okay. We have to go for another short break right now because Kasian, the first part just was so long. My cameraman like tangan sakit already. So we're gonna go for a sit down after this, uh, and we have more questions for Ngayuan. So stay with us one in person. Jump. Okay, final block. You know when you're having a conversation that you really enjoy, time just flies like it's really not fair. It's one of those things about life that you just wish you could change but you can't. But I'm really enjoying this conversation. Uh, and the theme for today's thingy is all about empowering. Yes, it is. Uh, and I, for empowering women, but I feel empowered. <laughs> so that's great. That's, that's great. great. So you know women is only 50% of the population in the world. Yeah. So you actually do need the other 50% to help in this whole empowerment process. So, Actually, interestingly, yeah. you know, on that note, uh, I saw one of your tweets today. You were saying that you know, the one of the best ways to uh, celebrate International Women's Day is by having the men celebrate it with you. And you were tweeting pictures of uh, August Magazine doing an article about Elaine and all that. Uh, so, you know, guys will always be guys whenever women are involved. Uh, Chances are they're going to have a soft spot for women. Okay. Do they? Huh? I don't think. Really? No, I not, don't think so. Not in the corporate world? No, no, no. no. Uh, okay, this is what I think. Well, well, well let, 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 just let me just ask you the question I wanted to ask you. My question is, how do you make sure that they are there on board with women all the time, every time? You, I, I really just want to say that it's a really poor excuse whenever you use gender to mm -hmm. differentiate between people. Mm -hmm. It's so bad. It's because it doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. You know, to differentiate people in the first place is already... No, people are different. Uh -huh. You and I are going to be different. Okay. We, we are different. Mm -hmm. It's not because I'm a woman that I'm different. But we are Maymon different. Mm -hmm. does, does it make a difference that I'm a man? As in like, between two persons, mm -hmm. gender 
tak kisahlah. Dia yeah, two yeah. person memang already different. So gender macam rambut. <laughs> so, we have different hair. So, what I'm trying to say is this. We always think gender actually plays a big role. Actually, it doesn't. So when I was um, on the executive committee and, and on the director uh, board management uh, for, for a big company that we know, mm -hmm. uh, one of the biggest company around the world, mm -hmm. I was the only female. So when I enter, I always thought that, oh my God, they're going to bully me because I'm a woman. And mm -hmm. initially, I got to set up stronger, I got to be this, I got to be that, all this expectation strange, whatever, mm -hmm. and all, all that stuff. And actually, I found out that nobody really cares if you're a woman. Right, okay. They don't really care if you're a woman. You could use that as a woman to use, you think that you're a woman, therefore mm -hmm. you just certain, you want to, you, you, you want to, you know, like, okay, I can take advantage of this because I'm a woman. Mm -hmm. No, no, you can't. You cannot at all. Right, at okay. At all. At all. So really, you are just as different as the next person as the next person. Mm -hmm. Not because of your gender, because really, it's very far off. It's no, it's not even an excuse. It's not even a reason at all. Mm -hmm. It's not. At all. <laughs> <laughs> at a loss of words, wow. No, no, really, because in, in a whole setup of things, uh, a lot of people always say that, um, um, oh, you know, um, uh, uh, men ought to support women more. Mm -hmm. No, no. You support who's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Regardless. Regardless. Okay. Now, but things ought to be done because, for example, you need to have diversity in decision making. Mm -hmm. You cannot decide when everybody is more similar than another. So if you have a, a decision making committee that are made up of men and you are deciding, say, on products that are for women, please, for God's sake, get women in there. Mm. It's as simple as that. Mm -hmm. It's for diversity. It's, yeah. it's very simple. It just makes sense. If you are selling, uh, I, I don't know, if you are selling cars, you know, mm -hmm. maybe the decision makers ought to be people who understand cars, right? Mm -hmm. uh, ought to have different we're kinds, diversity. We're saying people who diversity. understand cars. We're not saying men, but no, we're no. saying people who exactly. understand cars. And also what okay. the users, what the users, what the customers want. Mm -hmm. It's as simple as that. Mm -hmm. It's nothing to do with gender. Gender is a poor excuse for both the men and the women. So how do you, how do you address that then? And let's take that as you know, a microscopic e example. So the glass, the glass ceiling issue. There isn't. That's quite ironic. <laughs> but that, yeah, wow. <laughs> no, but there isn't a glass ceiling. There uh -huh. isn't. You, you, you can go as far as you want to. Mm -hmm. In any sense, in any case, everybody needs to fight for the things that they want. Mm -hmm. Everybody, including men, so to be these, honest. So these are the messages that you have been fighting for all your life? I'm trying to... No, I change all my life. Mm -hmm. I do change. I have different opinion after a while and I realize that, oh my God, that, 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 is not, that doesn't stand at all. Mm -hmm. Then you just change because life is organic. Mm -hmm. But what I'm trying to say is, if you use gender as an excuse for anything, mm -hmm. please think again. That right. shouldn't be the case. Okay. If you use gender as the reason why you can't make something, mm -hmm. or if you use gender for the reason why um, men look at you different, uh, no. Or if you use gender to say that, um, actually, uh, it's very difficult for a woman to rise up to the bottom of management because, etc., because she's a woman. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think so. Whoever was saying it had this really chitty experience of dealing with people. So, what is next for you then? I mean, with taken you out of that box so now you're in open so what's next for you how else do you further strengthen yourself and also your career and also who you are you don't have a plan you just go with the flow <laughs> and do everything that you can and that's the best okay way. of course and that's okay of course, I, there, I get of course really there are some stressed. people who has that, that, that you know that school of thought that you must have a plan you must go forward in a certain way yeah I, I was stuck with that for a while mm -hmm. and then I realized that I, I don't know where I read this or I heard this or whatever but this mm -hmm. line was brilliant and I love it I'm gonna quote it so I and the worst thing I don't know who I'm quoting but basically the idea here is that um, in a room where you're finding where you're searching for the tunnel for the light at the end of the tunnel if you can't find the tunnel or the light, actually, just be the light lah. Oh wow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, just because everybody else has a tunnel and with the light at the end of the tunnel, great for them. What if I'm in a room where I can't see the light? So what? I stuck? Stuck or not? Stuck kan? No, I don't want. I'm going to be the light. <laughs> I jalan lah, aku jalan aina. Because eventually you will get somewhere. I don't know. Does it matter? Okay. 
No, seriously. You know, this is going to make me think about this for days and nights on end. Oh my God. No, seriously, I, I don't okay, know if uh -huh. it matters. I really don't know if it matters. Right, okay. I just know that if you can't see the, f the future, mm -hmm. Maybe that's why it's supposed to be. Why? Why do you? Why do you need to see so far, 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 far the pun? I forgot to just see what's in front of you. Take the next step. Go forward one step, Joe, and then you discover something else. What's wrong with that? So yes, I don't have a five years plan. I don't have a ten years plan. I don't have what twenty years plan. I don't know. Does it matter? No. I'm gonna end this on that note because that got me thinking. So if there, you're not thinking about what she just said. Seriously, look what look look in front of you and yeah, see yeah. what the One next step. step is. One step, Joe. <laughs> Asalkan okay. jangan berdiri situ. Thank you so much for your Thank time. You. No, it's a pleasure. It, it's it was a pleasure for me. Definitely a pleasure for me. Uh, and empowered, empowering. I don't even have to be a woman to be empowered on International Women's Day. How about that? Is okay. it talking about gender again? <laughs> no gender issues here. All right. You've been with me, Sai Ferry Norma, and I've spent the last half an hour with Loan Ngai Yuan. Uh, how do you describe her? Well, you know, you'll have to watch the entire show all over again to realize that you don't need to describe her. Can? 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 Perfect. And you've been watching in person, and we'll see you again soon. Take care and have a great one. <laughs>